All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, activity 231, uh, problem number five, where we're going to solve for diameter, uh, but we're given a little bit different stuff this time. We've got modulus of elasticity, we've got the length, uh, the load, uh, and the stretch of the rod. Uh, what I want you to do is look at your formula sheet there and think about what is given to you. And uh, modulus of elasticity is kind of a new one that's given to you. And the formula is FL over A and then delta, which is the deformation, lowercase delta deformation. So we're going to actually use that formula uh, to solve for area. And then we'll use our formula pi diameter squared over 4 to solve for area. All right. So I apologize for this. A little upset in the background. So let's go ahead and get that video going all right so uh we know that the rod is 35 feet long so that's my l 35 feet uh and keep in mind everything we've done so far is in inches so 35 times 12 is 420 hey that's today's date inches uh eight thousand pounds that's my load so we'll call that the uh, f and thirty thousand is my modulus elasticity and then here they gave me stretch so stretch is actually kind of looks like an s that gets completed almost an eight but not quite and that is 0 0.266 inches so elasticity is 30 million psi and the force is 8,000 pounds. What we don't know is both the area and then once we have area, the diameter. All right. Our equation uh, for elasticity is FL over A times the delta. So solving that for area, it would read multiply by A, divide by E. It would read... Uh, F L over E times the delta times the delta. All right. So let's go ahead and plug in and solve that. Uh, so the force eight thousand pounds, and this is solving for area times the uh, length four hundred and twenty inches divided by thirty. Million uh, pounds per inch squared times the deformation inches. All right, uh, those can cancel, pounds can cancel, and it'll leave me with inches squared. And that would be we'll do the top 8,000 times 420. 3,360,000 divided by 30 million times 0.266, which is 7,980,000. And we'll divide those. Three. Let's cancel zeros. One, two, three. Four, all right, 336 divided by 798 is an area of 0.421052631 inches squared. And so uh, we know the area, we need the diameter. Our formula for area, I didn't write. Our formula for area should be uh, diameter squared over 4 times pi. So we'll solve that. And that means that the diameter is going to be the square root of uh, 4 times 0 .0, 0 0.4210526721. 0 Two six three one six. Where did seven come from? Three one six. It's a three. 
one, six, sorry about that, uh, divided by pi, right? So second square root, oops, oops, second square root. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's just start over. Square root of four times the second answer. And we'll put those in parentheses because we have to divide by, oops, divided by 3.14. Delete. All right, so that's all under the square root. And that tells me my diameter would have to be 0.7323 inches. All right, pretty thick diameter on that uh, rod, huh? Almost an inch thick. Uh, 8,000 pounds, though, that's kind of a lot, right? Hopefully I didn't make a mistake here. Four times the area divided by pi and square root. Well, I think we're good. So there you go. 0.732 inches. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know.